one way of turning back to the Lord is denouncing that image. Right. Caesar Bourget. That's right. All right? Because the Lord don't look like that. All right? That's a God of the other nations, which was a stumbling block to us anyway. But if ye turn unto me and keep my commandments and do them, though there were of you cast out unto the other most part of heaven now who does that fit there's there's your there's your, your, your latin tribes right there the uttermost part of heaven is where oh, north yeah. america and south america yep that's the uttermost part of heaven that right there proves that those latin tribes are part of the nation of israel that's right. they were scattered unto the uttermost part of heaven where's the uttermost part of heaven you that don't want to accept that the latin tribes are part of the nation of israel where's the uttermost part of heaven you tell us all right the uttermost part of heaven is north america and south america that's right and if you can't tell us then you ain't got no business speaking man you ain't got no business talking all right you don't want to accept that the tribe of issachar is the so-called mexicans right but you can't convincingly tell us who they are <laughs> amazing man I, I don't know if you want to chime in on that uh, uh, um, tune brothers, in on that yeah 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 you know I, 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 maybe next time yeah there you go <laughs> no words right yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. The bar. but if ye turn unto me and keep my commandments and do them though they were of you cast out unto the uttermost part of heaven of the of the heaven Yet will I gather thee, and, 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 and you know what? The majority of the Israelites were cast unto the uttermost part of heaven. Now we're all here. That's right. Because at, at the time, I, I got to research what, what time Nehemiah came on the scene. But at the time this was written, the other tribes had already came over here. Yep. to the uh, uh the uttermost part of heaven yeah i believe that was during the time of the uh medio persian empire so that would be around the time of 500 and and uh uh, uh what is it uh, 38 39 right. bc, BC so that was 200 years almost after the coming of the other tribes from the assyrian captivity right which became later known as the so-called latin tribes yep the tribe of Ephraim, the tribe of uh, Issachar, the tribe, your, your, your basic Spanish, so-called Spanish-speaking tribes. Right, and uh, the Gadite right? and Rubenite and, and tribes. The, yeah. And the Gadite and Ru which the majority of them was so-called, um, the, the, the other tribes, so-called Spanish-speaking tribes. Yep. The yep. tribe of Asher, the yep. tribe of Issachar, the tribe of Ephraim. Manasseh. The tribe of Manasseh. Simeon. The tribe, um, right, the tribe of Simeon. Simeon. They speak yep. so-called Spanish. Yep. All right? Asher, and then the other Nepali, tribes, yep. they, they speak what? English. Yep. So there, there's that division, you know, English and Spanish, you know. But there you go. So the ninth verse, but if ye turn unto me and keep my commandments and do them, though they were of you cast out unto the uttermost part of the heaven, yet will I gather them from thence. And the Lord is doing that right now. Yep. That's why you see all the, the camps out there. They are out there to perform a specific uh, task. That is to gather the elect that was scattered among the nations, the elect of Israel. That is why you're out there. You're out there as a sign. All right? Read on. It says, Yet will I gather them from thence and will bring them unto the place that I have chosen to set my name there. And where is that place? The land of Jerusalem, the land of Israel. All right? That's where we're going back to. All right? And that fits, that prophecy I just read there fits all the tribes. All right? That's right. Now, the next scripture I'm going to go to is the book of Psalms, the 106th chapter. And if you got anything um, you want to say while I get it. Yeah, well, this, well, that's why the Lord said this, in, in the place where it was said unto them that you are not my people, there shall be said unto them that you are the sons of the living power. And why was it said to them that they are not the Lord's people? Because you Israelites, or all of us really, we adopted the ways of the other nations. Hey, before we came into this truth, we weren't acting like Israelites. We were acting like the other nations uh, that where we were scattered. That's right. And this time, mainly the majority of our people are acting like the so-called white men. The so-called white people, yep. which are of the nation of Edom. 
Yeah, that's why the black right. woman straighten on straighten straighten her, her hair. hair. How many? Right. Put blonde uh, uh, blonde wigs on. Yep. That's why you so-called Negroes shave off your beard. Yep. Just some, like the so-called white man. And some of you straighten your hair out too. <laughs> yeah. That's a, yeah. Well, they used, they used to do it back in the doo-wop era. Yep. You had the so-called Negroes straightening their hair to be accepted by who? By the, the white so, man. The so-called white man. Right. But you are not so-called white people, you so-called Negroes. You are Israelites. The so-called white man is the Edomites. That's right. You are Israelites. Right. Uh, this is the book of Psalm 106. I read the 24th to the, the 29th verse. And lessons like this must be made because, uh, you know, uh, we're coming to the end now. Yep. And the gather, we're in the time of the gathering. So the the um, nation of Israel is being gathered. The elect are being gathered now. And like I'll say it again, I must reiterate. I'm putting it out there. Not all the members of the elect are going to have dark skin and woolly hair. I'm not even going to say so-called Negro, because you have light-skinned so-called Negroes. Right, right. I'm talking about dark skin and woolly hair. What our Lord looks like. What Yahweh Shai looks like. Not right. every Israelite, not every member of the elect is going to look like our Lord. All right. That's right. Yahweh Shai. Uh, this is 24 to 29. It says, "Yea, they despise the pleasant land." They believe not his word. And that's why we were kicked out of the pleasant land. All right? The pleasant land is the land of Israel. That's why the so-called Jews are fighting over the land. And the so-called Arabs. But murmured in their tents and hearkened not unto the voice of the Lord. Therefore, the 26th verse, therefore he lifted up his hand against them to overthrow them in the wilderness. And that's exactly what happened. We were overthrown. That's why you had um, the, the account of Masada where we were over, overthrown, all right? And when we fled into the north and west part of Africa, we were overthrown there. We were rounded up and, and brought here to America in cargo slave ships, all right? So we were always overthrown because of our wickedness. To overthrow their seed, listen good, the 27th verse, Psalm 106 and 27, to overthrow their seed also among the nations. Come on now. Hey, brother, put that on the camera there, brother. You see it? <laughs> to overthrow their seed. Whose seed? Seed of Israel. The seed of Israel. Who carries that seed? The men. The men, yep. To overthrow their seed also among the nations and to scatter them in the lands. Right? <laughs> They join themselves also unto Baal Peor. Now you join yourselves unto Caesar Boger. Right. Some of you join yourself unto Buddha. Yeah, which is basically the same thing as back then. They yeah. just had different names. Different names, which we found out doing research, we found out that all these so-called gods of today had different names back then. They're the same crap done over. Like I'll give you an example, Caesar Boger, which you see as Caesar Boger, back during the time of Alexander the Creep, the Israelites that lived, because the main hub back then was Egypt. Yeah. Where did Alexander the Creep build his library? In, Egypt. In Alexandria, Egypt. Why? Because Egypt was the center of the earth back then. Then later it became Rome and now it's America, right? Right. Well, back then the Israelites that were living in Alexandria, Egypt, guess who they were worshiping? Mm -hmm. They were worshiping a so-called god by the name of uh, uh, Serapis, uh, Christus or Christus, right? Yep. And guess what he looked like? He looked like what you what you call uh, Caesar Boger today. That's right. All right, which was Ptolemy the first, which made his son Ptolemy the second a god, and he went by the name Serapis, which goes back to that uh, name Apis the bull, which was another so-called god the oh, Israelites Egypt. were worshiping in Egypt. Apis the bull, right? Yep. That's where the name Serapis came from. Right? Anything you want to say on that? Nah, nah brother, it's, 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 it's coming full circle. There you go. Now, I'm, I'm going to the 29th verse. Well, let me read the 28th verse again. They joined themselves, seeing that you were scattered, you Israelites, they joined themselves unto Baal Peor and ate the sacrifices of the dead. Thus they provoked him to anger. So when you Israelites are worshiping that Caesar Boger, just know you provo you're provoking the Most High to anger, right? That's right. You don't, a lot of you don't want to denounce that image. We see that at the camp. 
when we put the image on the ground, we tell you to step on it. A lot of you don't want to step on it because you really believe in your heart of hearts that, that our Lord looks like the so-called white man, like an Edomite. And they got an Edomite, a real Edomite <laughs> to look, to claim that the Lord looks like a real Edomite. Yep. I mean, the guy looks like a real Edomite, Caesar Bourget. That's right. All right. David D. Rothschild. <laughs> yep, which is, which is David D. Rothschild. Thus they provoked him to anger with their inventions. And that was a wicked invention. That invention came from uh, Leonardo da Vinci and uh, 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 Michelangelo. Michelangelo, right? They provoked him to anger with their inventions and the plague break in upon them. Hmm. And that's what's getting ready to happen. That martial law is going to be a plague to you, 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 you uh, Israelites, two thirds of you. And it's going to break in. And it's going to break in, literally going to break in upon you at three o'clock or four o'clock in the morning. That's right. All right. You wait when martial law is declared. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. I know it's, you want it's, to say it's, something. It's coming. It's coming. I know, I know you want to say something. It's, All right. It's coming. In the 34th verse to the 36th verse, the same chapter, Psalm 106, 34 to 36. They did not destroy the nations concerning whom the Lord commanded them. So we're not only are we supposed to be over the nations, we're supposed to have the attitude of destroying these nations. That's right. All right? That's what the Lord told uh, uh, Moses and the Israelites in the book of Deuteronomy 7 chapter. He said, make no marriages with them. Do not give your sons to their daughters. Do not give your daughters to their sons. And to utterly destroy them. To destroy them, man. Yep, that was in Canaanites. Enslave them. And guess what? That's what's getting ready to happen. Those are the nations that hated us, that we were scattered among. We're getting ready to enslave them. That's right. Beginning with the nation of Edom. All right? They did not destroy the nations concerning whom the Lord commanded them, but were mingled among the heathen, were mingled among the nations, and learned their works. That's why a lot of you Negroes don't want to wear a beard on your face. Where did you learn that from? The so-called white man. Yep. Right? He learned that from the Egyptians. That's why you black women insist on putting mountains of chemicals in your hair to straighten your hair. Where the hell did you learn that from? You learned that from the so-called white woman. That's right. There it is right there, man. It says, but we're mingled among the nations and learn their works. That's why you worship their gods. You know? You get a so-called Negro live long enough around the Japanese, you're going to start worshiping Shinto and whatever, the, you know, whatever. Whatever their god is. Yeah, their god is. Right? That's right. All right. Uh, 36 verse well let me read 35 again but were mingled among the heathen the other nations and learned their works and they served their idols that's why today you so-called negroes are serving the idol of caesar bourgeois yep. you're bowing down to it you go into so-called roman catholic church you there there you are right in front of that statue of caesar bourgeois praying to it like it's gonna jump up and help you in your plight uh reading on it says but they and they served their idols, which were a snare unto them. All right, now the next scripture I'm going to go to is Lamentations, the first chapter. Because I'm going to go, just go right through these scriptures, man. Yep, it was a snare unto you. That's why you in the condition you're in today. <laughs> and these other yeah. nations, they come right. to this country and within a year or two, they, they're living it up. They got businesses, they got cars, they got everything, homes. So you're saying that curse is not on them, brother? No, nope, not on them other nations. You know, and here it is, you, you, you lived here all your life and that never dawns on you. Why did the fucking Koreans and the Chinese and these other nations come mm -hmm. to our, our neighborhood they prosper, and we've been here all this time, and we ain't yep. prosper. We're still on the bottom. But some of them, it dawns on them, they say, well, they're better than us. No, they're not better than you. Oh, my goodness. Are you, are you kidding me? You are the Israelites, man. Do you know what the word Israel mean? He is a prince of power. Yep. How the fuck is a, a gook better than you? That's right. You see the stuff you can do? I don't see no gooks flying flying over the basketball <laughs> net, dunking in, you know? That's well, right. If, 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 and if you do see one, he's... Nine times out of ten, he's an Israelite. That's right. He got the spirit of, I don't care what he looks like, but he got the spirit of an Israelite in him. That's right. And that's why we say the, the man Bruce Lee was an Israelite, man. You see the spirit on that, man. Yep. That ain't the spirit of no straight up gook, man. You see them gooks, they be walking around hopping, funny looking. They barely you know? can walk. Yeah. They barely can walk. They bounce and, and, when they walk. And by the way, Bruce Lee was the cha-cha-cha uh, 
Champion. Uh, champion of the early 60s. Dancing champion of the early 60s. Right. You're going to tell me that. Dance. Right. You're going to tell me that's not an Israelite? But do you got these guys, man, that out there, just because of the way, you show you about a spiritual, as a, as, as as a, a, a lump of dog shit, man. 